Coming up on today's episode of Airborne Unmanned, the FAA increases drone access to controlled airspace, the Drone Racing League launches their 2020 season, and Pipistrel gets serious about the Nuva series of cargo eVTOL aircraft. Welcome to Aero News Network's Airborne Unmanned, a weekly news program covering all things unmanned. In partnership with AUVSI, the Association for Unmanned Vehicle Systems International. I'm Sophie Herlock. The FAA has made it easier for drone pilots to quickly and safely access controlled airspace by adding 133 air traffic facilities to the Low Altitude Authorization and Notification Capability System. LANCE is an automated application and approval system for drone pilots requesting to fly below 400 feet in controlled airspace. It directly supports UAS integration into the airspace and gives drone pilots awareness of where they can and cannot fly, as well as provides air traffic professionals with visibility into where and when drones are operating. Through the UAS Data Exchange, the capability facilitates the sharing of airspace data between the FAA and companies approved by the FAA to provide LANCE services. The companies are known as UAS service suppliers, and the desktop applications and mobile apps to utilize the LANCE capability are provided by the UAS service suppliers. The FAA continues to modernize the national airspace to accommodate more users, making land successful for 726 airports and 537 facilities covering 81% of eligible airspace. Lance is a collaboration between the FAA and the UAS industry. We'll be right back with the rest of the news. Hello, pilot. I'm John King. And I'm Martha King. You know, we've all had our flying lives disrupted lately. Well, King Schools is here to help you stay up to date with courses that you can access on your desktop, iPad, or iPhone. If you'd like a refresher or just want to expand your aviation horizons, we have a course for you. So head over to kingschools.com slant rusty today for details. Now let's take a quick look at news making rounds of the unmanned vehicle communities. It's time for today's Unmanned Minute. The Vertical Flight Society has announced their first design build vertical flight student competition. The competition is designed to develop hands-on skills and familiarization with electrical VTOL and UAM technology at the university student level and prepare the next generation of engineers and leaders to push the limits of this exciting technology into the future. A total of $5,000 in cash awards will be given out and teams must submit a five-page proposal to the Vertical Flight Society by October 15th in order to participate. Valancey has closed on $50 million in a Series B round of funding. Valancey provides automated point-to-point -point drone delivery services for time-critical parts and urgent medical supplies for enterprise customers and the U.S. Department of Defense. This new funding will allow Valancey to build on current momentum by expanding its team, launching new projects and scaling current initiatives in both emerging markets in the U.S. Skyward and Parrot have announced a partnership to deliver Parrot ANAFI drones along with Skyward Drone Program Management flight log sync, and training to U.S. enterprises. In particular, the new ANAFI USA drone speaks to a widespread need among U.S. companies and public agencies for a secure, high-end drone manufactured domestically. The ANAFI USA and training package gives enterprises a one-stop shop for building and scaling a drone program with aircraft, policies and procedures, training and automatic flight log sync to the software platform to manage it all. 
The FAA has selected 15 more schools to participate in the Unmanned Aircraft Systems Collegiate Training Initiative, bringing the total number of participating schools to 41. The FAA's UAS CTI program was launched in April this year, allowing educational institutions to collaborate with the FAA to help students obtain the skills and knowledge they'll need to pursue a successful career in a UAS-related field. The FAA Reauthorization Act of 2018 required the FAA to establish a collegiate training initiative program for unmanned aircraft and to establish a process to designate a collection of public two-year institutions of higher education as community and technical college centers of excellence in small unmanned aircraft system technology training. We'll be right back with the rest of the news. Introducing the new ELT-345 from Artex. This emergency locator transmitter, or ELT, boasts an industry low price, while providing the same quality and performance on which the Artex brand was built. GPS data is embedded within the first emergency transmission and provides search and rescue personnel with the aircraft location within 100 meters in less than a minute. Take to the skies knowing that you have the highest performing and reliable equipment on board. View our selection of ELTs and safety products at www.artex.com. Artex, your best last chance. If it looks good, it usually flies good. The Bristel series of aircraft is proof of that. Furthering their legacy of safety and efficiency, Bristel is proud to feature the Rotax 915 IS Turbo in the current lineup of aircraft. The 915 IS Turbo power plant offers more power than ever before in a light sport aircraft. Learn more about Bristel at www.sportflyingusa.com. The Drone Racing League has announced their 2020 DRL Allianz World Championship season in their first ever Drone Racing League simulator on Xbox. With a new competition format, new video game on console, and new ways for fans to stream the sport, the 2020 season will kick off a new era of sport. The 2020 season will challenge a dozen elite pilots through 16 races premiering on Wednesday, October 21st at 7 p.m. on NBCSN, Twitter, and Facebook Watch. The competition takes place in the DRL Simulator, the same immersive drone racing video game that players can now download on Xbox and fly like the professionals. Gamers and top pilots around the world will navigate virtual versions of custom, high-speed DRL Racer 4 drones, flying through complex, neon-bright courses broadcast in 50 different countries. The DRL game on Xbox features the same fast drones, electrifying racing adventures, and realistic flying as race in the 2020 season. Through the game's 25 unique maps, 18 real DRL tracks, and endless multiplayer options, DRL sim players can explore new worlds, compete with friends, and race for a chance to become an official DRL pilot. Pipistrel's Nuba V300, a long-range, large-capacity, heavyweight, autonomous eVTOL UAV, is being presented as Pipistrel's flagship model of the Nuba series of UAVs. This highly customizable, autonomous aircraft can carry up to 460 kilograms, is economical to operate, and offers the efficiency and reliability of electric power trains. Currently, cargo is delivered to many locations around the world with helicopters, which are excellent for hovering, but much less efficient in cruise flight. Their complex flight mechanics increase the cost of operation. The Nuva family combines the best of both airplane and helicopter air cargo transportation principles. The unmanned EV toll capability enables it to go where no airplane is able to, while its hybrid configuration reportedly allows it to operate more efficiently than a helicopter on an equivalent mission. The large cargo compartment accepts up to three Euro pallets that can be easily loaded with a regular forklift. The Nuva V300 then flies a preloaded flight plan fully autonomously, controlled by a digital flight control system. Continuous communication allows the ground operator, who manages the vehicle with simple mouse clicks, to have ultimate control in case of changes or cancellation of the flight. Entry into service is planned for the second half of 2023. And that wraps up our show for today. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like subscribe, and to check us out on Facebook and on Twitter. For more information on the innovative world of all things unmanned, head over to auvsi.org and airborne-unmanned.net. I'll see you tomorrow.